bass legend Tony Levin performed with King Crimson for more than 40 years and took countless photographs on and off stage. He spent the last few years selecting his eight favorites and is now releasing them as a high-end commemorative set of archive quality handmade prints. They're being produced by printmaker and publisher John Lybrook of Intaglio Editions, located near Boulder, Colorado. Now, for the past several months, I've been working with John and Tony on getting the word out about this special collection. The eight selected prints are King Crimson, Asbury Park, 1982, Bill Bruford, Bristol, 1981, Adrian Ballou, Backstage, 1981, King Crimson, Faro, Portugal, 1982, Robert Fripp, Krakow, 2019, King Crimson at the Royal Albert Hall, 2019, Perkins Palace Marquis, 1981, and On the Shinkansen, 1981. I interviewed Tony in November 2021 about his history with photography and his work with King Crimson. Now check that video out if you haven't seen it because he gives a great background on this print collection and on his own photographic approaches, which involve foot pedals, squeeze boxes, his early foray into digital photography, and more. The King Crimson photogravure prints are beautiful, and I've actually had various proofs of them here in my studio for several months. John Lybrook sent them to me in these big black ribbon-tied portfolios, but I recently received the special edition <laughs> print collection box with all eight prints, white gloves, and the works. It is absolutely gorgeous and one of the nicest material objects I've ever had in my own home. Now, I'm not much of an art collector, but I can tell that people who really care about owning art and archival photographs are going to love this set. Now, I originally got involved with John because Paul Richards from the California Guitar Trio had a couple of collections of his own photographic prints by Intaglio Editions, and they're wonderful. Most interesting is his broad chalk collection of prints from his time living with Robert Fripp in the 16th century reddish house in England. There's a whole Wikipedia page about that house if you want to read about it. And maybe someday I'll release the footage of Paul talking through his photos. So once I saw Paul's prints, I wanted to learn more about the guy making them and how his crazy brain works. <laughs> it turns out that John Lybrook is a big music fan, especially of King Crimson, and he makes prints for several artists, including Jerry LaFaro, who painted the modernized Tarkas cover of the Keith Emerson Tribute Concert DVD. Pretty cool. Now, I spent a day in the summer of 2021 with John in his studio, learning about the entire printmaking process, and it's pretty astounding. Intaglio printmaking is a very time-consuming work of manual labor and is almost entirely analog. He starts out with a digital photo and does all his mixing and mastering, and then etches the image onto a steel-backed photopolymer plate. It's a photographic process with an insanely bright light bulb and some complex computations and old-world machinery to get the tones just right. And once the plate is ready, the manual labor begins. John takes an inked up roller and smothers the plate to prepare it for the print. He then wipes the plate smooth with cheesecloth so the ink sticks to the dark parts of the image. He then takes a large sheet of paper which has been soaking in water for an hour. He blots it so it's just the right dampness and runs it through his printing press a bunch of times to flatten it perfectly smooth. Then finally he takes the inked up printing plate on the press bed where it's now ready to be printed. And what I've just summarized in a few sentences takes at least 20 to 30 minutes of work to prepare. Once the paper is placed carefully on the plate, wool blankets are put on top of the paper and the plate. And then, turning what looks like this giant captain's wheel from a large boat, the entire press bed glides under the big metal cylinder, applying thousands of pounds of pressure on the paper and the plate. And this process transfers the image onto the paper, and voila! There is a beautiful archival print at the end made only of low acid, traditional etching paper and oil-based ink. Ink. <laughs> ink. <laughs> now each of Tony Levin's eight prints will be made 500 times, which will take John several months to complete. Each comes numbered, hand titled, and individually signed by Tony, along with a signed and numbered certificate of authenticity, which is also signed and stamped by Tony and printmaker John. As I mentioned, I've seen these prints in various states from pre-production to final editions, and these final editions are gorgeous. 
They're 500 bucks a piece, or you can buy the whole set of eight with the collector's box for 3,700 bucks. When I started this project with John and Tony, I knew next to nothing about the printing process, but now I can say I've seen the work from start to finish, including the final product, and it's seriously impressive. If you're a fan of King Crimson and you want some really nice collectibles on your wall, this is the set you need. So check it out at Tony Levin. <laughs> check it out at TonyLevinPrints.com. Now let's take a look inside the box. Maybe that's uh, what you're waiting for. So I'm just gonna open it up carefully because this box is like, it's really beautiful and I just, it is, it's not mine. I don't wanna do something to it. <laughs> so um, it's pretty heavy actually. I'll, before I open it, let me tell you, picking this thing up, I'm gonna guess it's five to seven pounds. You can see it's pretty thick. I mean, it's, it's gotta be, yeah, like I said, five to seven pounds. And um, it opens really beautifully. Uh, it's really a solid construction. I'm gonna guess this is wood. Um, and there's wood lining the whole thing, including this back panel and the top. And then uh, it, it folds open like this, but I don't want it to fold all the way back and crease. So you can see the, the white gloves here that come with the box. Um, I'm just gonna close this before I do something stupid. <laughs> so the gloves are, you know, these nice fabric gloves. And then inside this folder here is um, a letter from John about the prints and the collection. And then here are the certificates of authenticity. So you can see here, I think you can, uh, this is the certificate on the lower left is a signature from Tony on the lower right is John's signature with the um, a stamp. It's like an embossed stamp. I'm not going to take all eight out. They're pretty heavy stock paper. They're pretty thick, which is great. And then let's take a look at the prints themselves, which you've already seen in this video, but I'll just show you live. Now this one is my favorite. This is the Royal Albert Hall print. Um, I love this one because it's, I love the aspect ratio. I know that sounds funny or silly or <laughs> trivial, but uh, just like with Frank Lloyd Wright architecture, you know, he uses just certain dimensions and I just love the aspect ratio on this image. Uh, I love how the, the light is cast on the whole crowd and the venue. I don't know how Tony did this, but the, the light in the center of the crowd and the whole band is right up front. It just feels like you're, you're part of a scene. Like a lot of the other prints, are, they're great, and you do feel like you're there in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Uh, but I feel like this print in particular is just immersive. It's like you are at the venue. You're on the stage. You see everything that's going on. And... Um, Anyone who knows King Crimson knows that if there's a photograph being taken by the band, it's at the end of the show. And you can see Robert holding his camera out, taking a photo. So this is Tony taking a photo of the whole band, although Tony's not in this one. He is in other photos. Uh, but yeah, I just, I love this whole, this print. And then inside the box, all of the prints just have um, wax paper between them. So there's the print, there's a sheet of wax paper behind it, and then there's the next print. I don't wanna screw anything up here, so I'm just gonna close the box. <laughs> These are so precious, I just, and they're not mine, so I wanna take good care of them. Anyway, so that's the box, that's the collection. It's gorgeous. Um, I think of it as like 3,700 bucks is like a really high-end instrument. And this is like, you know, a really high-end set of pieces of art. And you get eight of them. So I think it's well worth the price. Um, but yeah, check them out at TonyLevinPrints.com. And uh, if you pick one up, let us, you know, leave a comment and let us know what you think of it. Cool. Hope you enjoyed.